Saxophones are heavy instruments and choosing the right strap to carry it is really essential for your comfort while playing and also for your health. In this video I will show you five commonly used straps for your neck, your shoulders or even your back and I will tell you what I think are the advantages and disadvantages. And at the end as a little bonus I will give you a crucial tip to improve your finger technique instantly and play faster. So don't miss out on that. The first neck strap I want to show you is the Balaam neck strap or actually back strap as the producer calls it. The cheapest version you can buy for around $50. I've used this one for quite some time now and I think it's a really practical strap in many ways. It really takes the weight away from your neck all on your shoulders but I never had the feeling that it got heavy on my shoulders or anything. The size of the neck strap is quite okay so I can pretty easily fit it in my case. Just one of the downsides sides is that it entangles very easily and the biggest problem that led me to wanting to change it now is um, that it just moves quite a bit when I'm playing. So it always moves down after a while when the saxophone is pulling and when I'm on stage for example and I'm always pushing back the neck strap again it doesn't look very nice and it also is a bit uncomfortable. So this is really a downside on this strap. Another really important point for me is that the balance of the saxophone is not ideal. So I often have the feeling that I have to push a little bit against the saxophone with the left hand and that it really pulls down a little bit so I really have to carry the instrument quite a bit. The next strap is the hooky back strap I guess and I think this is close to an ideal alternative solution to a regular neck strap. It feels really good on my shoulders. I could feel it a little bit after a few hours but it was not in any way bad and I think that the balance of the instrument is really nice with this one very close to wearing a regular neck strap. Just one of the problems I found is that it's kind of difficult to place it properly on your back and for example I had a situation where I had a rehearsal and it was displaced a little bit, it just turned around a little bit and it's very difficult in that moment when you just have to play um, to adjust it easily and get it back in the right position with your saxophone attached. Also a big downside is that it's just really big and unflexible so you cannot fold it in any way and it's impossible to put it in my saxophone case so I would really have to have an extra bag to carry it around with me. Also one more downside is the price. I think the strap costs around 110 or 120 dollars so it's really not cheap for a strap. The next one is the BEG um, body strap I guess it's called. Uh, these ones I have to say I really don't like. It really feels like you're caged in and it takes a lot of time to put it on and if you want to adjust it it's really difficult. Also I know from many students um, it entangles and you need sometimes even another person to help you untangle it. Maybe it's good for young students that are like 8, 9, 10 years old and they should not wear their alto saxophone around their neck. I think in general it's not a very practical solution and um, I would not recommend this to anyone who can avoid it. The next one is the Jazz Lab Sax Holder Strap and I really like this one. This is definitely one of my favorites. The design is super practical. You can just easily take it off and take it on and also you can fold it so it's, it's really small and um, pretty well transportable. Um, and I also really like that it's so light and also feels really good to have it on you. It also is quite affordable. Um, I think it costs a little bit more than $40. And you also have the nice thing that it's really fixed in one position. It doesn't move in any way. Also when you move around or lean forward. The only disadvantage and the reason why I don't play it is that it holds the saxophone in a really strange place since you have a little bit of a distance here to your body because of this. If this would be different then I would really like this one but because of this I just have the issue that I always have to reach for the mouthpiece with my mouth so I have to go forward a little bit with my neck which is really not a good thing to do. 
And the last trap is the Just Joe's next trap from Köbel. Um, this one is really a regular neck strap that is a little bit special since it has uh, two gel pads that are on the left and right side. And I'm having problems using regular neck straps. Usually my neck gets stiff after playing for a few hours. With this one, I have the feeling that it's also not perfect, but it's already much better than just using a very simple neck strap. Um, maybe because it doesn't press so much on the spine, um, but rather on the left and right side of the neck. And that's why the um, weight is distributed a little bit better in general. I really believe that a regular neck strap is better for the balance of the saxophone and you feel also freer than with a shoulder strap or a back strap. Just the problem of having a sore neck after a few hours is a downside of these neck straps. One more thing that I should mention is that this neck strap is really not cheap. I think it costs around 80 to 90 dollars. So for a pretty regular neck strap, this is quite a bit. Um, I found that it works better than other neck straps, um, as I mentioned before. So for me, it's worth the money. But of course, you have to try out for yourself. I hope that um, this video helped you a little bit to figure out which strap could be useful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Also, if you made any other observations, I would be also curious to hear about it in the comments. Okay, so as promised, I will now give you this one tip that can help you free your technique and play faster. And it's something that I find is not addressed enough, although it's a really important topic and it can help have a big effect on your playing and that is that the left hand has many more difficult movements to do than the right hand especially because of the palm keys so what you should be really aware of is that the left hand does not stabilize the saxophone meaning that the right hand is doing the stabilizing and the left hand can freely move without having to carry any weight from the saxophone so next time you practice just pay attention how it feels for the left hand and try out if you can hold the saxophone only with the right hand this will really help you to set free your left hand and it will improve your finger technique and you will notice that you will be more fluent when playing the saxophone. Okay guys that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I would be really happy if you would press the like button for this video and also click subscribe so you don't miss out on future content like this. See you next time.